You're just about to enter the shattered corpse of a sunken hive deep within an acid sea in order to recover the archive data stacks of House Bruelis, or at least one of the house's predecessor um, incarnations. And you were just basically at the threshold of the, the edifice. Um, and in, uh, emit the chemical and radioactive waters, and you can hear like a rhythmic thumping from inside. It's after I told everyone to jump in the hole, right? I'm not sure. Did anybody actually listen to you? I'm sure someone did. That was hilarious. Lead by example, Sergeant. Ah, fuck that. Yeah. Somebody threw yeah. an explosive in. It shook, the, it shook the structure and you heard the implosion. And it, it seemed to dislodge some things from whatever habitation they inhabited, but other than that, it's not tr it's not changed the rhythm of the thumping. That didn't. Alright, everyone, post your names all over again. <laughs> Actually, shut up, Death Watch Captain. Actually, the last time we played, right before we jumped in this hole, I remember Saint's character looked around, and he was able to find another way. So we don't have to jump in this hole. So I'll leave it up to y'all. Do y'all want to jump in this hole that will most likely crush at least one of us on the way out? But no, we're not going to jump in this hole. I thought there was a crack ahead that we were heading to. Uh, this, this is part of it. That is that is said hole. Oh, we have to go down that hole? No, we don't. We, I mean, if we all jump at once, we all jump <laughs> down there at the same time. <laughs> we all have to chase and get crushed at the same time. If we all jump at once, it surely can't swallow us all. And we'll be alive long enough to kill whatever it is. His guardsman mentality, right? <laughs> Brothers, abandon your formation. Leave the servitors behind. We're jumping in this crack together as one. Very well, Commander. Let's do. Affirmative. Hey, I really don't think this is a good idea. Too bad. Throw that. Oh wait, Ho's just a sergeant, isn't he? Oh yeah. Somehow. Oh. Yeah, I know. No, I, I know Rohan. Yo! Yeah. Did we roll or anything? I mean, this thing's gonna kill us. Who's stepping in? Okay. <laughs> the same time. The kill team enters through the crack and your titanic forms uh, leap out into the chemical currents. You drift down slowly, um, cushioned by the, the thick fluid and you see what's making the thumping noise. In this chamber, huge cables, um, each one thicker than four humans abreast, have long tumbled out the ceiling, forming a kind of, almost like an arterial um, or intestinal spillage across the floor. And some manner of filtering organism inhabits each of the cables. You can see twitching um, sort of tentacle filaments of different lengths and, and degrees of mutation flickering in and out of the holes rapidly as each thump accompanies an inhalation of, of um, tainted water into the pipe. On your ore specs, as you can quite clearly see that some sort of biological accreation basically girds the pipes. By the void, what are these things? Do not think too hard on it. It should be nothing. Pity we have Please. no flamethrower to burn them out. 
I all the same. I would, I would second who said that comment on the flame. Okay. Recognize still on the walls, barely surviving having the acid. You recognize um, sort of semi familiar icons which you can help to guide you through the through the wreckage of the hive, basically. The Imperium has a sequence of standardized iconography which changes from world slightly from world to world, but is broadly recognizable. And it's designed to survive pretty much anything. Some of these are even still barely legible, and you realize that you may they may assist you with moving through the hive. You may gain a plus five percent a plus five percent bonus on your next survival tests. Also, in this chamber specifically, although you have the, the thumping filter feeders and some sort of well, you're not sure whether it's a worm analog or actual plastic cable which has been ha inhabited by a sort of a motile entity, but they seem harmless enough. That should tell you they've a little guard down. That's stupid. Keep your wits about you, brothers. Very Seems well, Sergeant. Librarian, lead the way. The rest of you, back in formation. Mark, Mark. Mark. Yes, Sergeant. As you oh, as you enter the steps of the Hive Brothers, are you willing to? Are you okay for me to post up the next part? When you're next called upon to make a survival test, whoever makes it can gain plus five percent to their skill. Kind of, uh, okay, posting up now. claustrophobic because I am in character. The most confined spaces are the best ways to kill. Plenty of push and sway. Um, some of it quite powerful, directed by the innards of the hive. In terms of being able to navigate, though, there's no one consistent flow. It's more like powerful but diffuse through the corpse of the, the corpse of the machinery. Right, on. No, no, you will be traversing galleries, you will be moving through um, ancient uh, equipment bays, Through you might even traverse an ancient chapel at one point. Um, this is abstracted. You are within the skin of the hive, so within about a mile to two miles of the surface of the hive. This would be considered the outer reaches, basically, this particular spire. So it'd just be straight up pointy scaffolding for a long while. Not quite. Hives are built on a on a bigger scale. They're basically macro structures. So 
what would be considered the skin of the hive is still larger than some, you know, towns in thickness. Can you all give me a willpower test, please? That's that good, my willpower is horrible. <laughs> yep, the willpower test is made of plus ten. Very good. I rolled a thirty-three. Plus is good, right? Two degrees of success. Plus is good, and minus is bad. Oh, then I pass it. Barely. I don't. For those who pass, there is no negative effect. For those who fail, uh, the claustrophobia and the, the weird, um, surreal, and sort of disgustingly mutated life forms combine to perhaps give you unpleasant thoughts, uh, gain one insanity point. Oh, you can fuck yourself with that. Activate. Ah, oh, shit, where is it now? If you, if you wish to reroll, you can spend a fate point. And blow me, because we're not in squad mode yet. I wish to use my chapter ability. Will the win? I can fucking find it now. <laughs> <laughs> like five pages open everywhere. Uh, that, that doesn't work here. Gives a minus scorn. Grab him, Jack. <laughs> Whenever a marine does anybody level. have a light source on them, by the way, or simply or are you simply relying on your enhanced optics? Yeah, I would say enhanced sense. optics. Because then, then again, I'm a carcaridon. Why would a carcaridon? I'm sorry, Chapman. We've been interrupting you. I only ask it's purely for sort of scene description. I'm not trying to trip you up or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I would one? just use the optics. Okay. Were you going to say something, Chaplin? If you imagine your, pro your uh, passage through the hive as well, it's you move like deep sea divers, but faster and more sure on your feet due to your enhanced strength. But still, there is that sort of hazy, well not hazy, but you know, that sense of sort of weightlessness, almost. Uh, never mind. Let me gain that insanity point. So we're not I sure did. It only applies in combat. It's called the will to win. So it's basically re-roll any failed willpower test. And if you pass, you get hatred for the rest of the mission. Against whatever that thing is. Not particularly, no. It's this. It would basically. It would be. It would be harder if you were an unaugmented human. I One find it, point I, I, piece. Is it just me, or I find it really ironic? Chaplin failed a willpower test. His uh, name's Chaplin. Chaplin is not a chaplain. I know you're not a chaplain. No. I just find out that your name is Chaplin and your yeah. character failed a test. Willpower yeah, re test. Really quick, I see you guys are rolling all your stuff out, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But if you go to your character sheet and actually click on, like, um, say, like intelligence, and you can do stuff like that and it will calculate it for you. It tells you if you pass or fail. You have character sheets? Alright, and if you mouse over, like if you mouse over the yellow number, it can tell you how it rolled it out, how it calculated it, so you can make sure your numbers are correct. Yeah, you oh, do. I have a character sheet, I just don't have one in, in this. I see no That's why you're staying at the front. You do actually you do actually pass through what once may have been a chapel. 
Um, it's in its long fallen to, to, to sludge and decay. Well, not decay, but <sighs> digestion. Basically, everything that could have dissolved has dissolved. Depends on what you mean by the old father. Nigga, they're all old is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. You do actually come across a statue of the Emperor Incarnate formed in a sort of uh, almost an Art Deco style from a slab of the alloys quarried from Octavian Four's surface. It's uh, angular and um, is now covered with chemical secretions and the weird life forms of Phlogis. But the actual statue itself is still perceivable underneath the morass. The alloy is extremely strong, obviously. Whoever placed this within the chapel did not, did not uh, cut corners on the quality of the metal used in its forging. Acting as so I, I... Marine, give me a sample of that statue at the base. Do not touch the father. Very well, Sergeant. Yeah. Wait, didn't Ghost. you say Techmer? He's running after it. He's yeah. taking care of it. Sir Fontis. I think we probably need his toys though. It's the work. It's the work of a, of a minute or so to take a sample of the alloy for study by the by the tech priesthood back aboard the Angelus Tenebrae. It is extremely strong. Uh, a curiously dull, almost obsidian metal, uh, greyish, very black, and um, very very resilient. I don't think an artesium is going to cut it. I have a chainsword. I don't think your chainsword's going to cut it. As I said, you have the means to do it. It simply takes a, it takes a moment, a few moments to do so. I'm going to check not, it over. It's not like you're cutting off a huge block of it, I imagine. No. Are there any active data ports on it? On the statue, no. All right. There were there were once there were data um, what you call it data lecterns about it, but they're long rusted to inactivity. Ah, hell. Calm yourself, librarian. Let me do an awareness test using the aspects. You're rolling this super, super careful. Alright, Havel. How the fuck do I do these tricks? It's a perception test now. Mm -hmm. Yep. And an all specs adds plus 20, I believe. Ah, you sure add, when I say add, add the number to whatever you're rolling, whether it's a skill or a stat or whatever. Yeah, I fucked yes. it. Yeah, it's your awareness skill, that's, which goes off your perception. With that in mind, I might as well uh, just roll a shit, because I'm looking at this now. That's good as fuck. But first, roll one it, it, it can be. It, it can be yeah. something. I uh, rolled an exact forty. Exact forty. Uh, for my my tests for my uh, the benefit of an all specs, uh, you need a perception of twenty to fail uh, to pass. So, yeah, these this place is. This place is long dead. The days. No, 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 hold on. I'm not the one that, that was rolling for the aspects. Ah, that right, was the okay. job. Yeah, I 
have see so did you so you added plus 20 so it added it to your roll instead of you want to put negative 20 i don't know if you can do that so just roll a regular um God, roll it regularly Add 10. Not, not. <laughs> so you actually yeah. rolled a 19. It's good. It's good. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, the right, systems dude. of the chapel are long dead. A combination of corrosion and lack of lack of rights has basically rendered them completely inoperable. Uh, the faith of the people who worshipped here long sunken and, and drowned. By the void. It's not that grim for Caradon. It's just normal. No, it's clean. It's been clean. For a while. I would very much like a sample of that. It is very peculiar. Uh, it's really you know, important to the mission. Very unimportant, but I'm sure it will come useful much, much later. Very well. Right. Am I alright to post up the next, uh, next what's name? Yeah, because we're kind of fucking about with the statue. <laughs> it's wasting yeah, time. I was, cool. I I was going You actually don't have to listen to my orders. That they kind of do, actually. Oh, God. Alright. That's it. I'm gonna take a big chunk out of that statue with my goddamn bolt cutters. <laughs> bulkhead cutters. Okay. <laughs> a sample has been procured. <laughs> okay. Yes, got the sample. Oh. <laughs> Somebody needs to look up a gaze Look up the, the famous story of the gazebo in role-playing terms. <laughs> Ah, basically, it, as, as the story goes, um, a GM introduced a gazebo into a scene description of D&D that he was running, and the players were absolutely convinced that the gazebo was, was important, or it was a monster, or it was relevant to the plot somehow, and they ended up spending like hours examining and checking, checking and, and arguing <laughs> over this gazebo while the GM was being... Basically, uh, the GM's <laughs> banging his head on the table because it's just a fucking gazebo. That's all. It's I just... <laughs> I wanted... I wanted, like, two-minute fluff shit. All I had to do was smack it and <laughs> get one chip, and that'll be it. We can move on. Well, now we're getting, like, now a Now you got a softball-sized chunk off the corner. <laughs> Realize that underneath, underneath all the damage that you have removed the Emperor's face. Ah! The Omnisai will forgive me. Ah. I haven't. Don't worry, you haven't removed the Emperor's face. You, you take a sample of the alloy. Um, even examining it briefly, the Tech Marine can tell you this is an extremely heavy industrial alloy. Okay. If you are um, moving on, guys, can I post up the next bit? Yes. These creatures irk me. Sergeant, permission to kill this thing. I will not stop you in your lust for violence. Fire at will. They seem to travel in packs or schools, basically sw swarming past you. They're quite large as well. They average about seven to eight feet. 
They are otherwise seem to be utterly mindless, simply swallowing whatever they can fit into their maws. No, they couldn't follow us. Yes. Perhaps the mission is more important. Yes, more the important Blood Angel is right. The swimming insult will pass. Can somebody choose one amongst your party to make a survival test? Let's see. What's that? Arbeck passed the last one. This one, roll off. This will actually roll off perception. Arbeck passed the last one, so there's my vote. Mine's 40 something. 39. Actually, no, no, this is an opportunity for basically players to discuss amongst themselves. Now, what is everyone else? 61, I feel. Ah, shit. Somebody's rolled. He has took initiative, Amar has rolled, and he failed. Right, okay. No, it... You don't. Did, 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 does, that, did, does that change it to a success? Did, did, you, did you actually do the math on that? Five Five percent? All right. What? What is five percent? Four forty-five. Well, it would make his perception fifty for the test, which is still a failure. No, I'm not burning a fate point. Yeah. Play. Right. Okay, so he failed the okay. survival test. Who is it? Who is it that failed? Amar Kohari. Yes. Kohari. As the squad traverses um, the slanted, what may once have been a, a wide. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of a, a transit point where many people once walked. I forget the name of it now. It's not a yeah, gallery. Like, like... It's a. Yeah, basically what was once an arcade, that's the word I'm looking for. This may have once been a large arcade. Uh, somewhere where many people congregated or traversed from one area of the hive to the other. And where it's fallen in, it is now slanted upwards at a steep angle, forcing, this, forcing the kill team to almost climb the, the slippery, uh, corrosive, slime-encrusted plating. And at one point... Uh, disaster strikes as Kohari you place your weight on a on a basically a, an area of plating which initially you thought was solid but it's not it gives away beneath you with a with a great groan and crash and you are sucked down into darkness fall, tumbling and falling down an angle down a slope and you sn um, you snag on part of the rubble and something vast below you begins to squirm this is, doesn't look good we must help them brothers from the darkness below you you see one of these gulper fish sort of blindly um, hammer and crawl its way into view its mouth opening and closing seeking whatever prey has fallen into its lair unlike the others this is not about 8 feet long this one is perhaps 30 to 40 its mouth is large enough to engulf the front of a land speeder he's fallen about 30 feet 35 feet who was in what position I know I was rear guard he would have been in yeah. the middle. And we'll say for this purpose. For all intents and purposes, me and Vontis are next to him. 
I switched to my bolt. I switched over to my uh, Godwin pattern bolt gun and aim right down at the the monster coming for me. Oh yes. Oh. It's it's actually it's actually swimming up towards the um, the disturbance in this um, this rubble. As it does so, it opens its mouth and it inhales. And Kohari, you feel the chemical water around you tear towards it with considerable force. Boy, does one of us have a screamer? Yeah. Now is a good time. Let's roll initiative, guys. D10 plus your agility bonus. Oh, I get plus one to initiative. I get plus two from uh, chapter droppings. I believe I also get a plus one because of power armor history. Okay, so give me your initi- give me each of your initiatives, and I'll put you in order. One d ten plus the first number of your agility. Okay. Okay. Thirteen. Five. Agility is. Wait, you said first number. K okay, four then. Twelve. Oh shoot. Yeah. Uh, so my agility number is four. So I basically got a five. I got seven initiative. I think. Yeah, no, because I get plus one initiative because of uh, power armor, but you said we don't use power armor. It's more like a trait. And the first time you rolled a D11. Agility is 45. Yes. Screamer. It is basically a small device that makes a shitload of noise with the intent of causing distraction. Yep, I brought one. It's perfect right now, brother. Throw it in the hole? If you beat the actual creature yeah. in this initiative, then yes. Yes, please. Can I try and throw it behind them? At this point, you can throw it straight down past them, and it'll do fine. As long as it doesn't eat it first. Uh, Yes, you can hold your action. Mm-hmm. Well, I already got apparently my bolter pointing at the damn thing. So yeah, I'll shoot the damn thing. All right. So I shoot at the damn gulper. Okay. It's not it basically a gulper is a way for the GM to describe it to the players. Um, I'm sorry for the slightly derivative name. It's not it's an official, a gulper. It doesn't actually have an official name. Well, I shoot at the well, I shoot at the disgusting-looking fish. Right, it's a uh, 100, right? 79. Yep. Fuck! I miss it. Um, you get a plus 10 bonus because of its sheer size. Still miss. If you miss. 
it doesn't necessarily mean that the bolt flies wide it means that it simply explodes in its flesh which is so dense it doesn't really feel it okay well that sucked you discharge <laughs> a bolt straight into its gaping mouth and it, do it doesn't seem to feel it it's a half action to fire a single shot you can only make one keep attack fire. round. Keep, keep firing. You can make a semi-auto, but that would have missed anyway. So, no, oh, this one, this one does something. I rolled a five. I'll let that one pass, but you can only make one attack shot attack action around it. If you want to fire more than one shot, you need to be able to fire a burst, which the bolter can, but I'll let that one slide for now. Roll your damage, um, Rojas. Roll for damage. Okay, that's 2d10. That's five. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, the second round, um, basically slaps into the flesh of its maw and blows something open. Um, thin, thin, um, almost rainbow-hued fluid, like oil, begins to boil out of the, the impact, but it doesn't appear to have quenched its hunger. Well, that's the, those, are, those are my actions. We've been done, boys. <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah. Goes against. Oh shit. I guess the roll would be very similar to throwing a grenade. Um, it's exactly the same as firing a gun. You make a ballistic skill test. This skill is uh, 46, I rolled a 52. Okay, that's still a hit, don't forget this thing's plus 10 to hit, it's huge. But no damage? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a hit, what's your damage? Screamer doesn't do any damage. Ah, Screamer. It's a tool. Yeah. Are you throwing it into its mouth? Actually, yeah, it's behind it, so it creates a distraction. The screamer tumbles down uh, into the water, and given how sound rea reacts under fluid, um, it makes a quite disturbing screech on its way down. The gulper doesn't even notice it. No eyes, no ears, no sensation through its skin. Just a mindless aberration. It literally cannot perceive the screamer. God damn. Wait, hold on. How can it perceive fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna perceive a mar. I don't get it. Movement changes in chemical density. He has another half action. No, the screw doesn't count as an attack. And thus, firing my heavy bolter count as a half action. Heavy bolter can only be fired on full auto, which means you need a full action to fire it. Oh, that's... I have, uh, I have my uh, power armor. Yeah. Search that again. Do you have a uh, quick draw? Because if you do, you can snap draw your bolt pistol without it taking a half action and fire it. I've got the bring death from afar in my uh, power armor. I know that this is your talent, dude. Do you have quick draw? Give 
madman. Go for it. Can't, can't be as crazy as what I'm planning to do. Awesome. No, I haven't done quick draw. You still have grenades. If you'd like to roll again, oh, okay. you can. You can brace your heavy bolt in preparation for the following round. Okay. Yep, that's what I'll do now. Right, so who's next? Are you right, dude? Are you okay? You sound bored. Should I splice it up? I can throw in more things. No. That was my plan as well. Going to leap in. Jump in it with your chainsaw. Uh, it, yeah, it's basically a crash through hole to a, a 40 foot long tube of flesh. Well, it's more plastic than flesh, really. Uh, the gulper, where it is. The gulper, oh, um, wide. It can swallow the front end of a, of a land speeder, so. Oh no, I'm talking about the gulper. Oh. It's. Yeah, it's wider than a marine. Basically, um, Rojas's character took down several um, deck plates and the, and the rotten substructure when he went through. Um, some of the stuff which has survived this long is now dissolving in the water, causing um, vapor and light. This is why everyone posted their name. Mm -hmm. Together. Thank you. Okay. Slide down. You estimate it's going to be within possibly 10, 15 feet of him, possibly even close enough to lunge. Okay. You do indeed, and don't roll any nines. I think is the uh, the thing for psychic tests in Death Watch. A psychic test? Uh, yes, I believe it's a willpower test. What's your willpower? Sure. That's not good. Uh, what was the effort to cast the power? Oh, very nice. Okay. Would you like to re-roll that with a fate point or? Only like the first oh. act, so. Ah, we's good. I'll get it when I attack. I mean, how much do you like Rohas's character? Not much. 
You still have a lot of people left to attack. Yeah. She can. Yeah, the the bolt sinks into its plas its plastic plasticine flesh, um, and detonates without ap apparent effect. This thing is possibly not difficult to hurt, but to get it to recognise the fact that it's been hurt, that could be a whole different challenge. Question: Is it flammable? Uh, that's what I believe Theros was about to attempt to discover. You don't know oh, unless. Yeah. Unless you set fire to one of the smaller ones. I know, but I'm just hanging here. <laughs> I'm moving. Uh, Rojas. Arvac. Then it may. Fontis, it's up. Uh, you're up. Alright, um. I'm gonna throw a crack grenade into its mouth. Okay. Yo, I At the moment, Arvac, your brothers are pouring fire into the, into the maw of the beast in an attempt to stop it from eating you. Wait, I think you have a wrong character name. Yes, sir. Should we talk about Fontis? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not falling into the maw. No. It's no. a maw that's falling into the maw. Into the maw. Yeah. I'm, What's it? Uh, I'm not being eaten by you. You're being I'm, eaten by me. All right. That's all I just told. All right. What do you have to roll to throw a grenade? Ballistic skill test. All right. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. All the glory, man. There don't is Don't check. No I don't up. think I don't think I have anything else that would really help in this situation. You could get really, really lucky. That's every roll. Wow. All right. Uh, it's coming up the tunnel at us, right? Like, coming up a hole? Mm -hmm. How heavy is that statue of the Emperor? Very. It's also a bit further back, so... Oh, okay, never mind. And you could ask it politely to wait, I suppose. I'll, I'll get just with throw... the sample. You gotta throw the baseball-sized sample at it and kill it. Is there any debris large enough to actually impede it coming at us? Ground? Yeah, I mean you could. I mean the tunnel itself is pretty well, uh, pretty well like dissolved and damaged by the acid. You could try knocking down structure between Aravek and the creature if you could deliver a powerful enough blow to the structure, maybe. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna get to whatever side that those guys aren't on. Try to rip off a piece of wall to go down on it. Mother. Screw it. You guys are going to have to trust your agility. I'm going to rip down a piece of wall on it. I'm not going to let you get eaten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. How good is your agility? Let's find out. Strength test. In terms of pulling down part of the structure, you could do it with your breaching drill. You could do it with a crack grenade. 
Uh, a missile launcher could do it, ripping into the structure with the heavy bolter, perhaps. I brought bolt head cutters this time. Bolt head yeah. cutter could do it. Um, you probably don't have your full machinator array on your back, although if mechanically you have the same benefits from it, just because of its bulk underwater. But on the other hand, this is 40k, so... What am I doing bringing realism into this? Fuck it. I'm at it. Bad juicer. The pain glove. Okay, so whichever method you're going to do, give me a... If you're using your cutters, it'll be a weapon skill test. Wait, apparently it didn't save the stats for full head cutters, but I'll, I'll grab those. Do a weapon skill test right now, though. God damn it, we all have quick draw. Yeah, we do. Yes! I'm sure I told everyone to get mag maglo dip. Well, what the fuck are they called? Diplo maglocks. Yeah, right? Yes? Not with a heavy bolter? Yeah? Not with a heavy bolter? No. Yeah. So I have? just rolled a 5 <laughs> on my 55 <laughs> weapon skill. Oh, thank God. Uh, that's, did. um... Is that like 5 degrees of success? Holy crap! Does this, does this mean he's able to aim it? Yeah, it means that you've basically, using your tech augury and your eye for structure developed over decades of combat engineering, you're able to drive the auger deep into a weak point in the wall, which has been long, um, cor basically corroded to, uh, what's the point? Like a supporting wall, basically. It's holding up most of the structure of the tunnel. Right. Can you give me a damage roll from your auger, man? And bear in mind that the damage, the damage threshold for your five, because you got five degrees success. Let me second the damage threshold for this to be quite low. Sorry, the, the sheet, I guess I, I forgot to hit save on the sheet that I put all my weapons on. Now I'm, I just grabbed it. Alright, bolt kit cutters are 4d10 plus 5. Twenty-six with six pen. That'll do it. Right, you drag the auger in a sweep, tearing through the the flimsy and heavily damaged uh, wall of the tunnel, and the weight of the hive material above it causes the entire top section of the tunnel to collapse in a billowing cloud of of boiling acid. Uh, flailing tendrils of some nameless life forms collapsing in with it, and the wreckage of millennia past. Those in the tunnel, who's actually down the slope with the gulper? It's um, Arvek, Theros, um, Fontis. Anyone else? No, I didn't jump into the tunnel. Ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't think I did. Wait. It'd be like a simple weapon, honestly. Oh, is he throwing rubble at it? I thought he was tearing into it with his. Oh no, I'm I'm at the top of the tunnel. Ah, if you're gonna bring your cutters to bear, man, you need to actually get down into the tunnel. No, he he's. He's dropping debris onto ah, the thing using his That wound. I was just trying ah. to slow it down so they could get out of the way. Yeah. Okay. It's the t it's 
basically the tunnel collapse is what's doing it. It's crushing, it's bringing stuff crashing down onto the gulper and also onto Arvec. Well, not onto Arvec, but basically between the gulper and Arvec. So. Are you sure it's not a Amar? Because, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, so I'm still I'm, down there, man. I'm still learning the names, not Arvec. I'm bad. It's Amar, sorry. Rohas, Arvec. I'm terribly sorry, Ice. No, that's I was very confused. I was like, I haven't jumped in yet. I'm confused now. I'm confused too. Your GM is also confused. Why am I getting punished? That. Yeah, but you're the Marines Malevolent. You deserve everything that's coming to you. I haven't reacted yet, motherfucker. So yes, um, Amar, Theros. Mm -hmm. You're the only two in the tunnel at the moment, I believe. Yes. Right. You can give an agility test to basically get out the way of the debris as best you can or a toughness test to ride it out it's entirely up to you agility okay my agility is basically 50 well well are we counting the uh, bonus from power armor For this well, test yes okay fuck I told you what. Dead on the nose. Just made it. Um, Amar, what did you roll? Seventy-one. Oh, uh, Fifty. Oh, with your power armor. Yep. No, my agility is naturally 40. Plus 5 because of power arm. What is your power armor history? Um, well, my power armor history is. Fury, Fury like lightning? Yeah, it's plus five agility and plus one to initiative. Forty-five, forty-five is my base, and then the plus five comes from the power. I'm not burning a freight point. I will. T I will. No, I'm not. Okay. Amar disappears in the in the cloud of rubble and acid which boils out and some of the stuff coming out of the hole is extremely powerful chemicals um, disturbed by the collapse um, mechanically it means damage so give me dice Fucking shit. 13 damage to one of your legs. God, um, that's not too bad. Oh, um, ah, uh, well, can't find the names. Amar. 13 damage uh, to one of your legs, basically, as it gets trapped under the rubble and partially crushed. <laughs> what is your armor and your soak combined? My armor? Soak? Uh, What's your toughness? Oh, toughness is 42. Okay, so double that is... Because you've got a natural toughness times two for this iteration of the system. What that means is, is that you take the first number of your toughness and you double it. So you take four and double it to eight. That's your toughness, that's your natural soak. What's your armor soak on your leg? Uh... Yeah, yeah, this is what I mean by the armor soak on your leg. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. Sorry, which leg was it? Whichever one you wish to describe cinematically. They both have the same armor. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll go with my uh, left leg then. Okay. What's your armor rating? Uh, I believe it says... Well, there's just a digit here that says...
didn't know we had an input. Fucking, ah, oh, shit. What marker power armor are you? Uh, let's see, Kerkeridon's mostly run with Mark 5. Heresy. Your armor is 8 on your leg. So 16. Your total is 16. So, what happens is... Um, My leg's fucked. No, no. Your leg's perfectly fine. You've actually taken no wounds. So I'll give you the description of it. Mm. The rubble comes crashing down. Um, the gulper disappears in a great cloud of, of digested material, pla uh, plastic soup and girders. What crushes your leg is part of this. And for a moment, searing pain blisters through your flesh as acidic, as acidic water um, leaks in through breaches in, your, uh, in the joint of your power armor. But within moments, your armor's self-repair systems are already sealing the breach. Um, your leg is trapped beneath the, the rubble. It can be moved. It can be rescued. And other than that searing moment of pain against your flesh, your armor seems recovered tight. You're not leaking anymore. Mm. Many Astartes would consider that quite a, quite a minor irritant in comparison to being swallowed by a nameless horror from the utter deeps. True. I seem to be fine. Climb oh, down and save his leg. It's the work of a, it's the work of a few minutes to free your brother, between your superhuman strength and his um, his own. Do you guys hear that at all? Hmm. For what? Hold on. Something's happening outside my door. Oh shit! You okay, man? Just hold on a second. Turkey's invaded Canada, it's finally happened. He's getting swore. The way it works, man, is you add together the armor and toughness over a location that's been hit, and you take that off the damage roll. Alright, sorry guys, looks like something's happening in our world. is all out here. Um uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be, so fuck. I, I don't. I don't know. Oh, it's okay, man. Is everything is everything all right? Are you all right? I don't. I well, I don't know. That to, if the warrant wants us to talk to something, I hope it's not bad. But fuck. Right. Um. All right. Um. I don't know what you guys are gonna do. So again, sorry, but I gotta go. All right. Man. Ouch, that sounds pretty... That sounds heavier than comfortable. Maybe. Maybe not. Juicer, I hate to ask you of this because I'm sure you have your campaign all ready and everything, but can you just document everything that just happened now? Or at least where we are right now? You want to stop it there, do you, man? No, I don't. Yeah. Hmm. You back up. I don't it's actually want to stop, but just in case, you know. Um, well, it's entirely up to you guys. I mean, I don't want to leave Rojas out either, but we were forced to miss it um, a bit last week due to circumstances. I mean, are you entertained enough by the game so far? Even though it's basically just falling through the floor and being swallowed? Is it something you wish to continue <laughs> with? Yeah, we just fell to the floor after arguing for quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. Input from Chaplin, Ice, Hamel. Yeah, same it's going well. It's fun, I'd like if you could get back. Kind of sucks if we. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm. But that's what. The, the, jump in. the actual gulper is extremely tough. Um, and yes, I did anticipate um, it either swallowing a character or a character leaping into it. So these were accounted for. But um, how the fuck to bring the ceiling gone. down? It's it's basically trapped on the other side of the, the debris. You can hear it 
sort of banging on the other side. Feel the vibrations through the hull, but it can't get through that sheer collapse of material. Effectively, all you need to do is to dig um, Aral out of the rubbish, out of the rubble. Amar, rather. And as I said, his leg will may require attending to by an apothecary to examine it for chemical damage and possible blood contamination from the toxins which flooded his armor briefly. But um, for the moment, he's entirely capable of functioning. Damn, I want to figure out if it was uh, flammable. <laughs> Plan to slice it and see if it lit on fire. That's the thing with many of these these. Sorry. Bombs, they can have like pockets of gas or flammable chemicals. You alright, Havel? I'm fine. I'm sorry I ruined everyone's fun and kept everyone from being eaten. <laughs> it's a pretty Almost. Strong, it's a pretty strong argument in your favor. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, the battle brother got a bit squished, but on the other hand, he wasn't eaten. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's the chances of you rolling a dodge chest compared to a grapple test. That's what I was taking. He did the right call. I was a yeah, dumbass was about to, to attack a giant freaking tentacle that was not there to fight us. Because this tentacle's only job was to grab something and retreat into a hole god knows how far. So yeah, there was, another, there was another hole in the floor scene last game, isn't it? Damn it, I repeated the same so, yeah, shit. Yeah, and I, threw, uh, and time, I threw shit at it, and it left. Damn this it, time. this happened again. Next time, you could have us fall through two holes, and there'll be something underneath them. Okay. <laughs> Don't... No, we're not gonna play Portal. Damn it, I'm very sorry, I shouldn't have repeated that. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, very much so. It, it, it's kind of like you, Tuesday. You haven't like actually been... To this point, you haven't been traveling in a straight line. You've been doubling back on yourself, climbing down what may, what were old once. Um, cargo lift. Passages, you've climbed up. Great air vents. It's been pretty nasty. Some of the stuff you fought your way through as well. Imagine a sea, imagine a sea anemone. Um, but made of like intestine, that kind of thing, blocking the way, cutting through it with your knife. It's it's been, or I'm just trying to think, like web webbing all over the tunnel, but it's highly acidic and alive, that kind of thing. It's pretty horrible, all told. This is this is the kind of stuff you might expect to find in some sort of surreal nightmare, of being trapped, trapped inside some something, you know, gut or something. Oh, yeah, we Junji Ito now. Actually, Junji Ito would be a really good inspiration for some of the things you're finding down here. No. No. Nice. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> what we can do is I can we can continue if you wish, and I can basic basically um so i'm scrolling past names um ama can be part of the group but basically not an active part of you know what i mean he's part of the background scene but rather than go too far what we can do is get to the next part of the adventure or we can stop it there completely and hope that um rojas is okay Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, I can roll his right test to see if I can get his leg loose. Get him, uh, you don't need the test to get his leg loose. It just takes time. Yeah, just throw um, him out the hole. You do, however, it, your efforts are spurred by the fact that the chemicals rolling out of the hole in the ceiling by in a cloud are actually extremely corrosive. 
So in effect, you're you're pulling him out ahead of a wave of of extremely strong molecular acid. It's fun. It's fun times down here. It really is. It it sounds like yeah. But eventually, you do pull Aral out the hole. Um, slightly damaged, but not functionally none the worse for wear for his uh, his encounter with the horror from the acid sea. <laughs> if he's the apothecary, he can tend to himself. There's a very, there's actually a very good way for a marine to tell if they've suffered poisoning as well. They gain they develop the urge to spit. All marines have something called a uh, well, actually, no. Most chapters retain it. The Imperial Fists have lost it. Um, I'm not sure if the Raven Guard have as well. But most chapters have a functioning uh, gland called the Betcher's Gland in the neck and throat. What that does is it secretes... Of, um, it's also part of the soft palate of the mouth. And it allows a Marine to fill his mouth with a very potent neurotoxin. It's highly acidic as well. And they can spit it. Um, if it gets in onto the skin, it burns and, and obviously causes significant damage. If it gets into the eyes, it blinds, it can paralyze. It can even allow a marine to chew his way through metal bars given enough time. And what the gland does is if the marine consumes or is otherwise infected by something highly poisonous, as part of his biology, the marine's body will process the toxin into the payload for his betch's gland. So if his, if, he gain, if his mouth starts filling up and he gains the urge to spit, a marine is well, is well advised to check himself to see if something is poisoning him. Nifty. Did you know that? No. So yeah. They're essentially just camels with poison. Mm. Yeah, same. Right. So yeah, you managed to get your brother out of the hole before he's either swallowed by the gulp if it manages to smash through, or digested by the stronger acid filling the, filling the water. All in all, a bit of an adventure. The collapse has attracted some other life forms as well. You couldn't even give these things a name if you tried. Gulper at least implies the thing's got a mouth. Okay, is that the decision for the entire group? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I would say. Sorry, sorry to curtail it there. But um, kind of worried about Rojas actually. I mean, is he in an apartment building? Is like uh, the warden summoned everybody to talk to them or something? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. So yeah, that that encounter actually only triggered because somebody failed the survival test. Well, all right. This is like a, GM, a glimpse at the GM's notes kind of thing. Everything happened because of Mar fucked up. All right. <laughs> is that how uh, Radagast sees it? Yeah, pretty much. The librarian jumped down a damn hole because this guy couldn't tell he was about to fall. Ow. Fair play. What I'll do as well, guys, is I'll give out XP and Renown at the end of the adventure rather than on a session-by-session -session basis, so don't think you'd be... You, you're, I'm forgetting or missing out at, the, at this point. It's all good, man. It's not about the experience. Despite what these screens will tell you. <laughs> Not about the toys either. About solving problems by throwing debris down holes. Exactly my point.
I remember a small amount of uh, inspiration for this came from a very, very old uh, game that I used to enjoy on the Mega Drive called Biohazard Battle. Would you like to see it, just to get the idea of where the inspiration came from? <laughs> 